The pudding I'm going to be cooking is a rice cream infused with orange zest and orange blossom water and topped with honeyed almonds. And the ingredients we're going to use are some milk, vanilla pods, cinnamon sticks, corn flour, sugar. We also have some orange water, some beautiful ripe oranges, cream, and last but not least, rice and honey. So as the sun sets behind the mountain, let's get started. What I've done is I've pre-soaked my rice because I want to save some time. I've used a long grain rice. You could use risotto rice if you want to, which is great for puddings. I'm now going to just break it up a little bit and start um, to add the milk with a beautiful little cinnamon stick. I'm going to use a lovely vanilla pot in here. I'm not going to cut it and remove the seeds. I'm going to take it out later, dry it, it's recyclable. Continue to cook the rice. Let these beautiful flavors and spices infuse into it. I'm now going to zest the oranges. We don't want any pith in this, so just go nice and gently, like so. I can't even tell you how fragrant this is. It's unbelievable. In fact, I've got a very, very important guest for dinner tonight. I have got the village elder coming to visit me. I'm gonna win him over with my honey infused, oh, vanilla, cinnamon, all the good things. This is the point where you start to add your sugar. Ah, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. The cinnamon has started to break up and it's just released all its wonderful flavor into the dish. And we're going to just simmer this until it's time to add the corn flour. In the meantime, I want to toast the almonds first because there's lots and lots of oil under the almond skin and it just adds such an amazing dimensional flavor when you toast it. If you don't want the skins, Blanch them in hot water first, rub the skins off, and then you can toast, okay? I'm gonna do lots and lots of these. Mm -hmm. Whoops, hot. These are beautifully toasted. I can smell all those lovely nut oils. I'm going to add some honey to this now. This is the honey I got stung for. <laughs> what I want here is just to heat the honey up, get it to coat the nuts, and I'm going to pour this over my lovely rice pudding when I serve it. I'm gonna switch it off and just before it's time to serve, heat it up and throw this lovely, hot, bubbling, runny honey onto the pudding. If you could just smell this honey, it's just unbelievable. Okay, dokie, now what I'm going to do is I want to thicken this rice pudding up a little bit, so I'm gonna make a slurry. Um, a slurry is when you take some corn flour and you add liquid to it so it's nice and runny, because if you don't sort of wet it down before it goes to the dish, you'll have little blobs of white stuff floating up and down. So I'm going to use a drop of milk, mix it together, this is going to give it a beautiful velvet consistency. Pour that slurry into it and it's going to help thicken it up. I'm going to separate two egg yolks. I'm going to bring the heat up on that and I'm going to put the raw egg yolk into that off the heat so I don't have scrambled egg, but there's enough heat in there to kill any dreaded lurgy. Beat the egg yolk up a little bit. I'm going to take the gorgeous orange zest. We're going to infuse it um, into our milk and rice. This is something you want to do right at the end because if you cook it in too long, the volatile oils are going to just disappear. I'm going to take just a couple of spoons of the hot rice pudding and put it in this bowl. Basically, I'm tempering it. Tempering means I'm going to take the egg yolk, mix it into this little bit of pudding. Here we go. And slowly, just stir it in so it thickens it up nicely. Just look at that, can you see how it's starting to thicken up? This is absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, beautiful orange blossom water. It is so fragrant, it smells like an orchard. Just remember, don't make the mistake of overcooking it. By that I mean it must still be runny, it might look a little bit too runny to you, but by the time you poured it into your dish, there's enough heat in that rice to bring the whole thing together. These almonds are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So there you go, my rice cream infused with orange zest and orange blossom water topped with honeyed almonds.